Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I did this massive photo shoot a few days ago um, where I did all of these paintings, which is basically just a bunch of different techniques. Whoops. Um, I did like literally pretty much every technique in the book. I think this is my favorite here. Um, anyways, I'll give you guys more information about that later, but long story short, I now have a lot of leftover paint. So we're gonna go ahead and do a painting with uh, leftover paint from all of these different ones. So, so many colors, like look at all the different colors. I used every color in the book. So here we go. And what I thought we could do, since I haven't had it in quite a while, is a bottle bottom pour. And I have these two, two of the cups here. I'm gonna use both of them. So, like I said, um, all kinds of colors. So I've kind of no idea what we're going to get. Although this one is definitely on the darker side. Oranges, pinks, white, black, red. Um, you know what actually I'm gonna do? <laughs> I have another cup that will go probably better with these colors that I just poured here. So I have, like like I said, tons of leftover paint here because I had a bunch of cups and I combined them all. All right, I'm not gonna use this whole cup, just some of it. It's hard to pour these evenly. It looks like I'm pouring a little more on the right side. I'm going to add a little on the left here. Okay. I think that's definitely more than enough paint. Now I carefully move this. And we have ourselves a pretty flower. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and tilt. I'm not going to try to maintain this pattern necessarily, but these basically each act as individual tree rings. So when you kind of stretch them out a bit, they look pretty awesome. And I generally like to end my tree rings off center as well. So I'll probably do that with this. Let's go ahead and just move it around and see what we get. So I think we'll still have kind of the general flower shape. All right, I'm going to bring it back this way. And there we go. Fun little technique. You definitely get some interesting patterns using the bottom of the bottle there still kind of has the flower shape and I don't know if this has silicone in it these might some of these paints definitely had silicone in them all right let's go ahead and let that sit there for a bit and then we'll come back in and we'll do our close-up okay we're back definitely some cells developing in here that I can definitely tell there was silicone in here you can tell the kind of cells that come from silicone are definitely different. So let's go ahead and do our close-up. All right, bottom right-hand corner. I'm honestly not sure if I like this one. It's a bit weird. Um, it's interesting, though, in interesting colors. So this is the upper right-hand corner. Over here to the upper left-hand corner. I like that section, definitely. And then down here, lower left-hand corner. And here's our like funky kind of in-between. Honestly, it reminds me of like maybe like a bird of paradise flower kind of in there. I don't know. It's just interesting. 
Well, there you go. Um, like I said, not sure if I like it or not. I mean, feel free to let me know what you guys think. Obviously, be be nice. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm curious what your opinions are. What do you see in this painting? It's very interesting. Anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.